Hello there, this video is my interpretation of a concept created by my internet friend Amanda Z over on her channel. She filmed what she called a tutorial to make a difference, featuring brands that have stepped up and given back to the community during the pandemic. It was such a positive, creative way to both acknowledge the crisis and also enjoy the comfort and sense of normalcy beauty is creating for many of us during this time. I felt so inspired by her work and she kindly gave her blessing for me to translate her concept into my flat lay style. Amanda is a fellow fan of minimal natural makeup. She's a big cream blush person too and a lip gloss lover so I often go to her for really detailed thorough product reviews. I'll leave her channel, Instagram and tutorial linked below plus the fundraiser she's set up for Doctors Without Borders. I hope this helps some of you discover her great work. A few brands appear in both of our videos. We definitely have similar style but I also looked into other companies that have been using their position and platform to give back. This is certainly not every brand that has contributed, just a few names that stood out to me in my collection. It's also not meant to be about comparison or a competition. Any company doing something to help has been great to see. I've also been looking for ways to give back during this time and given border closures have ruled out mailing any giveaways, I'm turning to e-gift cards instead. Last month over on Instagram, I asked you to nominate your loved ones who are essential workers in the US and sent eight Sephora gift cards to such selfless giving people from a young hospital tech who contracted the virus working overtime to a single mum and nurse who decided to move to New York to help. Next week I'll be putting out a similar call for nominations and buying Space NK gift cards for people in the UK giving their all to the NHS, their vital national health service, so keep an eye on my Instagram at Matilda on video. But now I'll be running through an easy natural makeup look in my usual style with a pop of colour and I'll briefly touch on each brand's contribution. Starting with skincare and these are my usual morning steps pre-makeup. Mist, moisturiser, sunscreen and some lip balm to prep my lips for the bright colour we'll add later on. New York brand Glow Recipe donated more than $80,000 worth of products to treat medical professionals around the US to their fruity skincare and I've been loving their products this year. Their Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist is ultra fine and smells a lot like watermelon. It's super sweet so it's a great pick me up and preps my skin to soak in my moisturiser next. No prizes for guessing, it's Glossier Priming Moisturiser. Glossier has donated thousands of products in the US and brought forward the launch of their hand cream, donating the first 10,000 to healthcare workers. You'll see a review of that new product on my channel soon, but this is my favourite item in their skincare range, a dewy, lightweight moisturiser that preps my skin nicely for makeup. Ultraviolet, my top Aussie sunscreen company, was part of a range of brands in goodie boxes for local hospitals put together by Adore Beauty, a great Australian online store. Their Supreme Screen SPF 50 is my top sunscreen pick because it's nothing like sunscreen, much more like a juicy moisturiser that smooths out my skin and gives it a hydrated glow. Remember your face has a much bigger surface area than the back of my hand here, so you need about five pumps for proper protection. Go To Skincare, another one of my favourite Aussie brands, got their formulations team in into gear and produced thousands of bottles of hand sanitizer for hospitals as well as sending a thousand of my favorite super handy hand creams. But today I'm prepping my lips with their lips exclamation mark balm. I like slicking some balm on early in my makeup routine so my lips are nice and soft by the time it comes to that step. Time for makeup. This sort of combination of light, bright, easy products has been my go-to mixture in my makeup bag recently when I have felt like putting on some makeup to brighten my mood or jump on a video call. Back in April, the Trini London team called for nominations and sent a bundle of products to one frontline worker per day in the UK for a month. Their BFF cream has been one of my favourite pick-me-up products lately. It has an unusual grey tint, but coloured microspheres transform the product to be skin toned when you rub it in. I wear light medium and it's certainly sheer and is meant to adapt to your skin colour, but it would be good to see much deeper tones added too. It feels smooth and light and barely there, but just brightens up my skin and gives it a really natural glow. It does contain SPF 30, but it's worth noting that you shouldn't rely on the sun protection in makeup, unless you're caking it on, which is isn't likely with a lightweight tint like this, you're not getting anywhere near the protection written on the bottle. I always prefer to wear sunscreen as a separate step. Glossier are back again in the concealer category. I haven't reached for concealer in a while to be honest, I'm enjoying letting my skin and any spots breathe so they can hopefully get out of here faster, but if I want a little bit of sheer dewy coverage I always enjoy patting their stretch concealer onto any parts of the face that need evening out. In early April, Milk Makeup donated 100% of proceeds from one day of sales on their website to New York City's Emergency Relief Fund and have also sent a quarter of a million dollars of product to first responders. Their Kush Fiber Brand 
brow gel in the dark brown shade Dutch is something I sometimes swap to instead of my beloved Glossier Boy Brow. This has a similar small brush and more of a gel texture so it's thinner and not as pigmented if you want to focus on brushing them up with a bit less tint. Definitely one of my favourite simple steps to make me feel more put together. Canadian brand Nude Sticks have partnered with Sephora Canada to produce antibacterial hand gel with proceeds going to the Red Cross and they also ran a 14 day giveaway in March sending their Sun and Sea kit which I love to frontline workers. I use many of their easy multi sticks but I've been enjoying reaching for the Nudies Matte shade in the nude this month. It's described as a neutral nude but it's quite a peachy colour on me so it just adds a nice touch of colour to my cheeks and my eyelids. But I want to go in with a slightly brighter cream blush too. This this is the first time Jessica Alba's brand Honest Beauty is appearing on my channel. I bought some of her products in the US last year and they'll definitely feature in future. The Honest company donated millions of baby and personal care products to the organization Baby to Baby, which is providing basic necessities to families impacted by the crisis. This cream cheek blush in Coral Peach was a color that instantly stood out to me, like it did to Amanda. This is surprisingly pigmented, so I only dab a tiny bit onto my cheeks and despite it being fairly matte, it still looks really fresh on the skin, it's long wearing and perks up my cheeks perfectly. Ilia is one of my top minimal makeup brands and they donated $50,000 to Feeding America, a hunger relief organization that is critically important at the moment. The brand's Limitless Lash Mascara is something I've been trying out for the last couple of months. I'm very fussy with mascara, I want volume and length but still want it to look natural and this one has really impressed me. There's a longer, skinnier side to add length and a curved side for volume so you can keep it really natural or add a lot of oomph. Bare Minerals have been spreading goodwill in the form of skincare, calling for nominations and sending 200 of their cleansing foams to essential workers in the US. Their Bare Pro Longwear Matte Lipstick is such an underrated formula. It has a beautiful shade range. I use a few different tones, but Cherry will always put me in a good mood. And the best part is the texture. It's so pigmented, but not a drying matte at all. It has a quite surprising velvety light feel. Clarins factories in France have produced an estimated 200,000 bottles of hand sanitizer for French hospitals and they've distributed 50,000 product kits to NHS staff in the UK. Their lip comfort oil in red berry was one of my picks in my recent spring makeup video. I love the super sweet berry taste, still trying to work out exactly which lolly it reminds me of, and the red tint is nice and subtle. It works well to add a bit of shine if you want to liven up that bold matte red. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my easy makeup look with a side of stories of generosity and some heartwarming efforts to help. A big thank you to Amanda for letting me turn her fantastic concept into a flat lay. I'd love to hear if you've seen brands you enjoy giving back during this time. Please share them below in case other people are interested and let me know if you've made any purchases during some of those specific fundraising days. I'll leave a couple of articles linked below so you can read more about other companies' efforts. Thanks for watching. See you next time.